to see what I've got here. Um, heavily weathered dumpster uh, using the salt method. I think it actually came out really good. Um, maybe overdid it in some areas, but you know, whatever. Looks cool, right? Um, <clears throat> so, anyway, figured I'd uh, get a few people on, scratch this off live. Um, it's definitely more fulfilling to scratch something like this than a lottery ticket. But anyway, so I will um, <clears throat> scratch some of this up off and you guys can watch. It's still a little wet, um, but the effect's there, so that, that's cool. Um, so anyway, uh, get to rubbing this stuff off. We'll reveal the uh, sweet, rusted spots. I really like how uh, this method just um, gives it really that, that chipping effect. Um, yeah, it looks really cool. Like I said, I've used, used this on a few other projects. Um, you may have seen the ice machine that I had uh, for bag ice. Did some there. Um, there's a few other projects I did it for too. And it turned out really nice. I like the way it works. Super easy, right? Just salt water. Um, kind of do it in reverse. How I would normally do the dumpsters. Normally I do like some of the weathering stuff last. That I might have went a little overboard there. But, you know, I, I can go back over later. You can do this layer as many times as you want, right? So, actually, maybe not so bad. Actually, looks cool. I like that. Um, but, anyway, to back what I was talking about. So, I can use this on a few other projects. That would be cool to add a little bit more real, uh, realism to this project here. Most of the time, um, the rust is the second to the last step. Um, after some weathering. So this time around it's uh, before all the paint and all the um, decals are applied. So it's a little different. Um, unlike the previous step you cannot save this salt um, because it has paint on it. But yeah I thought that looked pretty good. Um, probably strate strategically place the uh, salt in some different areas next time but overall I think the rust effect and then just how the salt looks the salt make makes the paint look um, it's more like a mask right so it looks really cool I like it um, so we'll do some more weathering after I get all this stuff off get decals applied um, get some bags made up for the customer. So when I ship these or sell these, they'll come with a few trash bags tucked in there, as well as my uh, infamous Venom head sticker. I say infamous, no one really knows about it but me, and then those who get it with the dumpster. But it's a cool sticker. Anyway, it comes with a few accessories, accessory for the accessories. Um, yeah, just thought I would share. This, like I said, a new method that I've been doing for these um, looks really good. Uh, you know, kind of patina. I've done this actually. I'll show you what I did it for. Here's two of the projects I've done it for, and um, they came out quite nice. Um, yeah, this is a. Uh, first time around a POC a proof of concept if you will um, so there's some things I definitely do different next time but um, came out good and then um, I have to zoom out a little bit I think to get this one but I applied the same effect to this this here uh, car um, you've probably seen this in a lot of the X Mansion picks, but um, yeah. So <clears throat> salt method, using it now on my uh, dumpsters versus just saving that for last. You can kind of see it here. Um, but um, yeah, it's pretty cool. This is some of the first areas I've done some of the salt masking with, and it came out really nice. Um, here's another project I've done it for. 
looks it looks pretty good. So I'll definitely keep doing this in the future with these dumpsters. Um, maybe place it in a few different areas, but uh, still got a ways to go, right? Some more weathering, a bit more rust, and then we'll get the decals on, and then finally clear it, and those will ship out. Anyway, I just want to share that scratch off. It was very rewarding for me. I hope it was for you. And uh, have a good night, folks. Bye.